My next guest is back in action coming up here at UFC Vegas 20 on February 27th. It is Montana De La Rosa back here on the program. Montana, how's it going? Hello, it's going good. Uh, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. I saw it was your daughter's birthday the other day. What did you guys get up to? Um, so I'm actually in Colorado training camp. Uh, she's going to come up here in a couple days to um, stay for like five days or so. So we're going to celebrate tomorrow night. I'm super excited. <laughs> right. But no cake, unfortunately, right? Because you got the fight coming up. No, but I'm going to enjoy watching her eat it. and blow Exactly. Live vicariously <laughs> through her. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. good. Yeah, that, that's kind of where I wanted to start, actually, because I did notice you are in Colorado for this camp. I remember last time you weren't able to make it. How long have you been down there for this uh, camp? Um, I've been down here for, I think, like four weeks so far. I'm going to be here a total of seven weeks. Um, yeah, it's been really going really good. Uh, there's so many girls here, so many high-level girls. There's like UFC fighters, Invicta, Legacy. So it's been really good so far. And, and a lot of teammates with fights coming up as well. So I'm sure that's a little bit easier just because everyone's kind of you know got things going on in terms of upcoming bookings. Um, I remember last time, if I'm not mistaken, you couldn't go up there because of the COVID cases or something. What was the reason last time? I was trying to remember. Yeah, so I had like a only like a three-week fight camp and it would just be too hard to come up here and start training just for a couple weeks and then have to go to fight week. So it wasn't really worth it. Plus they had a lot of COVID cases going on. So I wasn't able to make it up here last time, but I didn't even end up fighting. So kind of worked out. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to ask you about that. I know it was your cornerman. I think you tested positive for COVID. You're supposed to have that fight in December against uh, Talia Santos. Um, you didn't get COVID, did you? Or was it just your uh, cornerman? I did. So Mark got it. I didn't really tell anybody about it, but he got okay. it he was only sick for like a couple days and then they were trying to reschedule our fight for a couple weeks later. But I was like, I'm going to end up getting it. Like I'm in the same room as him. So I'm glad they didn't reschedule it because exactly two weeks later I tested positive. So I would have gone through all that, went to fight week and tested positive anyway. So. Okay. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Um, how were the symptoms? Were they, were they bad? I know for some fighters, it's a little bit different. Some people in general, it doesn't matter if you're a fighter or not COVID affects everyone. Right. So I just had like a light headache and kind of had moments where I couldn't really smell that good, but I wouldn't have even have known that I had it if I wasn't just getting regularly tested because he had it. Yeah. So it's not bad at all for me. And, and I guess one of the other good things about this fight is that it's in Vegas, not on Fight Island. I know some fighters want to do that whole experience, but I'm sure for you, you know, being a mother and obviously, you know, there's a lot of quarantining involved. Are you kind of glad you're not fighting over there? Yeah, there's just so much quarantining. I feel like you wouldn't be able to train as good like those last couple of weeks. And yeah, I don't I don't really want to make that that flight over there. <laughs> it would yeah, be no, it's just it's another thing you got to worry about, right? All the travel time and all that other stuff, right? So. Right. Yeah. Vegas is just easy. It's just been there a million times. I know how fight week works. Uh, I just like it. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about your opponent here. Maria Bueno Silva, seven and one record. What do you know about her? How do you feel like you match up against her here? I mean, she's a super tough opponent. I mean, everyone in the UFC is going to be tough. Uh, just excited to get, get in there and show my skills. And uh, who are you mainly getting to work with for this camp? I imagine, you know, uh, Shauna Dobson, Mallory Martin, uh, anyone else I'm missing there as far as that, that group of women? Because there's a huge group of you over there. And I know yeah. Rose has been in there a little bit as well. Yeah, Rose has been sparring with us um, a lot. So that's been really good to have her such high level in the room. Um, JJ Aldrich, she's also in our, our division. Uh, she's been a really great, great training partner. Been doing a lot of wrestling with her. Um, there's like Claire, she just fought a couple weeks ago for Legacy. She's a great training partner. Um, a lot of other up and coming girls as well. Good stuff. And is Mark down there with you or is he back home in Texas? Um, he's back home. He's came, uh, a couple times for a few days. So it's been good to kind of focus on myself though, and just make it all about me this camp. Yeah. Is it a bit weird? Cause I know as a mom, you're used to being around your daughter all the time. You've got Mark as well. So being like by yourself, I'm sure is, is that a little bit different for you? Oh yeah. I mean, it's a lot harder when I have, my daughter, I have to worry about 24 seven, like getting her to bed, getting her to practices, getting her to school. So it's, it's really nice to just be able to focus on me, just like watch fights and get prepared for every training sessions and just be mentally there like every session instead of like being everywhere. <laughs> so I imagine Mark's handling all the dad duties back at home. Yeah, he is. And then my parents are helping a lot as well. 
Okay, good stuff. And and uh, as far as I remember, Mark's uh, is he a free agent right now? What happened? Because I know I was reading something. I think that he, um, I, I think he's sort of looking to to get his next fight type thing. Yeah, um, he's in talks with a, a few different promotions, so we'll kind of see how that works out. Um, right now, he's he's getting a lot of the guys at our gym um, fights and help, helping them build their records. So that's kind of cool to watch. Uh, how's the weight cut going? Uh, it's going good. I mean, it was way, way better than last time. Like last time I only had a couple weeks, so the cut wasn't as fun. So I, I'm, I'm definitely on track now. That's good. Can you believe you fought at straw weight? You know, it's just funny looking back because I know like obviously you're definitely a flyweight, I think at this point, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's not fun. Just like starving all the time and eating salads. So I enjoy life a lot, a lot more now. <laughs> Do you think you'd ever move up to 35 or are you pretty happy at 125? Oh no, those girls are way too big. <laughs> okay, no, I just figured I'd ask, yeah, because I know I know some people. Yeah. It's you know it's sort of optimal. Uh, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Um, Elliot Marshall, and then Mark, and then Vinny Lopez. Awesome. I know Elliot's been doing like some mental work with Shauna Dobson. Who's mentioning that? Does he do that with you at all? Any visualization or anything like that? Oh yeah, we talk like every day. A lot of visualization. Like it's been great. It's a total game changer. Yeah. And when did you start doing that? Like, was it just when you started training there or how long have you been working with him on the mental side of things? Um, yeah, since, since I started training here. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, how's this fight playing out in February 27th? Obviously you feel like you're going to get your hand raised, but how do you envision the fight uh, playing out? Um, just finding my timing, staying calm and just taking whatever openings I see. And how much of a benefit do you feel it is getting to have the full camp in Colorado this time? You know, just like you said, being on your own, getting to focus on things like, do you feel like we'll probably see the best version of you just because you really have gone all in for this camp? Oh, absolutely. Uh, that's the plan is being able to showcase everything that I've been working on and my years of training and hopefully my car- my cardio will definitely be better uh, this fight just being in elevation. Um, yeah, can't wait. Good stuff. Um, so something we talked about before in our interviews, I saw your my bookie video that you did for UFC 257. You actually hit all your bets. Uh, did anyone give you any props for that, or did you win any money? Uh, I didn't actually bet the money. I w- I always wish I would have. I'm always too scared to to actually bet money on it. But yeah, it was pretty. You, good. You like totally nailed it. Like you pick you pick Chandler right to beat Hooker, and I think I you picked Poirier to beat McGregor as well. Did you not? Yes, I did. Yep. There you go. Did you get anyone like giving you props for that at all or no? No, not really. <laughs> That's too bad because the video's there. People want to see it. Like you definitely recorded it before before everything. Um, and, and it seems like you're getting more comfortable doing that. I know this is something we've talked about where, you know, I know you got to do it, but uh, it, it, are the takes getting less and less in terms of recording that stuff? Oh, yeah. It's just down to like one or two now. It used to be like a whole couple hour thing trying to get everything right. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, is it, um, is it something like, I guess, yeah, you sort of feel more comfortable doing it, I guess, the, the more you sort of like do the reps. Cause I remember you telling me like, you don't, you don't really like doing it too much. Yeah, no, I don't really like being in front of the camera too much, uh, besides punching people in the face. <laughs> right. No, I always like, find that interesting. Cause, uh, like I'll talk to fighters and they, you know, they, they don't like doing interviews like where, you know, meanwhile they'll go out and get punched in the face, which is interesting how people sort of look at things differently. Right. So that's yeah. good though. I'm glad you're embracing it. And like I said, if people uh, should check it out, you did quite well on your, on your bets last time. Will you be doing a video for this, uh, pay-per-view coming up on Saturday? Um, I'm not sure. They usually, my manager just reaches out to me like a couple days before and then, just go from there. Good stuff. Um, what's downtime looking like? You mentioned just watching fights and stuff. Uh, what else are you doing in Colorado when you're not training? Not much. <laughs> just that, basically. <laughs> training and watching fights and just being 100% mentally focused. No Netflix? Uh, yeah, I've been watching a little bit of Netflix. Uh, got into the Peaky Blinders. That was a pretty nice. good series. Yeah. Okay. That's good. And and I imagine, you know, cause your last fight, like I said, got postponed or got canceled, I should say, uh, is the plan to just try and keep active, I guess, you know, within reason, I mean, not anything too short notice, but I'm sure you want to fight as much as you can this year just to kind of keep the momentum going. Yeah. I'd love to fight like three times this year. Um, I think that's a good number. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to this fight. It's UFC Vegas 20 coming up here February 27th, Montana. Always appreciate the time. Just remind people where they can get a hold of you on social media. And if you got any sponsors or shout outs, I'll give you the last word. Yes, uh, Montana.Delarosa on Instagram. Um, sponsors are Battlebold, NMR Pipeline, um, Laser Eye Care Center, and New Blonde Speakers.